it was like for eight minutes. So mm -hmm. it 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 was just more of like a tournament thing in my opinion. I feel like if it was run better, like the coaching was cut down on it, like wouldn't have been as big of a dish. We got a Sizzle versus Swag Train. I have not seen Sizzle play before. Is he Me entered either. melee here before? I, I have no idea. This is the first time I've ever heard his name before. But right, he he's apparently pretty solid. Marth, he's made it this far. Yeah, he came out came out the gate with a pretty quick uh, combo there. Some textbook Marth, very well might be a melee player here playing PM. He gets a nice uh, ledge hop up here that leads to three forward airs, knocking Cappy off stage. Cappy comes back with that up B. And we got some up airs into up B here. That won't kill. It's not kill very often in this game. He's got a sweet spot pretty nicely. Not brawl where you can just bring people all the way up to the top and then finish them with it. Like almost guaranteed. Just like not really much DI that you can put out. Ooh, really nice. Swag train was not appropriately DIing right there. Might have been holding in a little bit. Gets hit by that tipper forward smash, but lives. 103%. I don't think it was a tipper, actually. Ooh, the walk-up. Yeah, the you can tell likes. Sizzle doesn't know this matchup very well because he's fallen for a lot of the mix-ups, like, yeah. with the down B, but he, he's learning fast, so it's it's on Swag Train to make use of him while they'll still catch him off guard. That other night matchup, definitely one that you need experience when it's really, really hard to just play against them randomly. Oof. But Sizzle making it look... Messes up his pressure there. Very, very solid Marth play here. Wow. Nice down tilt, and you get some with another down tilt. The tornado not nearly as safe it was in Brawl. Yeah, tornado is really a kind of last ditch effort in this game. It's if nothing else will save you. Yeah. Can't just throw it out always and like yeah. know that you always have better priority than whatever it is. Ooh. Cabby just tossing him out. Tech chase. Finally gets the grab down throw and then dimension cape, knocking Sizzle off stage. See if he kept his jump. He did. Wow. Really, really nice there. Swag playing coming in with that uh, what is it called? Drill? I don't know. Uh, drill rush, I think drill it's called, rush. yeah. Sizzle, unfortunately, giving up that stock a little bit earlier than he wanted to, not able to get the perfect distance on the up B, a little too short. Yeah, really nice there, getting out of that up, a or up air pressure with the forward air, and then following up with a forward smash. Tied up one stock apiece. Here, game one on Battlefield. Yeah, he's trying to DI away from there as he does there. It's a couple spot dodges, but the Meta Knight down here is so fast, or down tilt. And that down air. Yeah, I think Swag Train has figured out that uh, Sizzle doesn't quite know how to deal with down air. Yeah, it's it's a really, really high priority, quite fast as well. I, yeah. I wouldn't even call it a nerf. I would call it a rebalancing from uh, the down air that it was in Brawl. Yeah, it's definitely, it's a really integral part of his game now. Yeah. Although, uh, Swag Train, I've talked to him about it, and he thinks it's a pretty overrated move. Because if you expect it and know when a Meta Knight's going to go for it, it's very punishable. Yeah. But like, uh, you come down nice and fast, but like any move where you're just like you know telegraphing your approach from these guys. Yeah, he doesn't really have uh, Meta Knight doesn't really have good uh, options coming down on top of people. So you know if he's coming straight on top of you or like mm -hmm. at an angle, he's probably going to go for the down air. So let's see if Sizzle can adapt here. The game one definitely not a fluke. Putting in really really nice work that Marth and Swag Train wisely banning Yoshi's story. Assuming we're going to see a melee stage. Yeah, probably. I don't know where I would go here. Fountain, maybe? I don't know. That, that was like the one stage that I had on my tongue, but... Honestly, I think lower blast zones would be better for uh, for Sizzle. So maybe even WarioWare? Yeah, Fountain. Yep, Fountain. Nope. Oh, or Smashville? Nope. <laughs> or Pokemon? No, we don't know where we're going. <laughs> I don't think I don't know about Pokemon Stadium too. I mean, neither characters have projectiles, so they can't really like claim all the space with it. Yeah, I, I can see that being a pretty even stage yeah, for both characters. Yeah, is very dominant on the ground, so like there's enough ground space there. So wouldn't be too Just, bad. I mean, back to battlefield. Right. Yeah, I guess. Now yeah, let's see if we can uh, spot any adjustments here. Now we're playing same character, yeah. same stage. JC Grab unfortunately missing there for Sizzle as Swag Train starts off with that down Ooh, throw. You always think Meta Knight's gonna die after that. Yeah. Really nice reverse up B there, and he just gets the down throw right out. Ooh, that's exactly that must have been a technical flow. Definitely missed input, trying to go for the Dimension Cape and then angle it sideways. I'm pretty sure that's mm -hmm. what he was trying to do. And he gets the platform drop back air, knocking Sizzle off stage. Sizzle holding on to the jump. Should have been it. Yeah, Maybe. Sizzle wisely spacing out his jump so he lands just barely on stage, not trying to get edge guarded here. 
Yeah, that back air, really, really strong finisher, very fast. Ooh, the Nair to grab, forward throw, forward smash. Nice combo, 35%. He's not quite used to Meta Knight's weight, I don't think. No, Meta Knight's uh, one of those weird combinations. He's kind of like a yeah, because he's he's spacey. pretty light. He's lighter than Kirby he's, actually. He's funny very thing. light, and he's a pseudo fast faller. He's like around the same thing as Diddy Kong and uh, yeah. So forget who it's else a combination you you wouldn't see if you no. have just melee, melee experience. Exactly. Got to be creative with your combos. See what actually is uh, like make your reads and do your combos accordingly. There. Not really too textbook. The drill rush letting Swipe Fang or Swipe Fang get back on stage, knocking him off with a back air. Ooh, and that's gonna and be the it. Forward air. Nice multi hit move there. Sizzle's really gonna have to dig deep right now. It looks like Swipe Train suddenly got the edge at the moment. Yeah, Meta Knight's grab down throw is so good. I don't really see Meta Knight's used much like any of the other throws because the down throw. Yeah, why would you? So good, <laughs> so good. Unfortunately, not a tipper forward smash. And oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, should be. Down. Now it's it. I think he was gonna come back. Hmm. I think he was gonna I come wonder, back with that tornado, but I wonder why he didn't go for tornado again. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he just knew he was dead anyway, so he had a little fun. Yeah, I'm not really the uh, most informed when it comes to like uh, Meta, Meta Knight's like recovery op or yeah, neither am I. Recovery options. It's a really nice up B though. Still trying to find his footing here on this last stack, only putting on 10%. Can't Ooh, be this on. could yeah, definitely nice, turn nice. around. You want to get that uh, instant throw with Marth, especially the forward throw, and not give your opponent a chance to DI away. Ooh, didn't oh. have his jump there. Oh, Ooh, wow! He saved it! What? He saved it all the way at the end! Damn, Sizzle! <laughs> nice. Ooh, that, really was, that was counting him out totally. Wow! And this looks, this could easily be it. Comes out with short hop, double forward yep, air. Yep, and he forward air there. does not fall for the uh, dimensional cape mix up. Kevin got his tongue out trying to find his way back to the stage, and that yep. is it. Wow, Sizzle. Sizzle. That was I wonder where dude. he's from. He's got to be from either, like, University of Illinois or University of Chicago or something. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I know him from U of I. But still, really, really solid play there by Sizzle. I, definitely looking like a, uh, a melee player. That short hop, double forward air, into short hop forward air, into forward smash. Racking out about 40, maybe 50 damage real quick there on... On Cappy. Yep. It's definitely would not want to be in Spike Train's shoes right now. Mm. It's not a good feeling when you've just kind of had that momentum and lost it. Yeah, game game ones are really, really crucial, especially in best of threes, but momentum coming in from the game two loss, mm -hmm. or uh, momentum coming in for Sizzle, that win. But he picks the quintessential Meta Knight counter pick. Yeah, a lot of floaty characters like this stage. Not, not floaty, but, like, you know, multiple jumps. Oh, because it's... It, it's, uh... Questionably designed to favor floaty characters, let's say. Yeah, the platforms are a little bit higher than you usually see, and the ledges have that weird little, uh, you know, I hate this stage so much. Spot. Yeah, and it really encourages camping and defensive play. It was a good uh, DI mix up there by Sizzle. Um, if he keeps using that back throw when the, what's it called, Cappy you thinks he's going to do forward throw, eventually he's going to DI the back throw away, and then Sizzle can get that forward throw with the DI he wants to the forward smash. Yeah, Air Sizzle's dodge. definitely looking out of his element here. Yeah, he's he's playing the space and decently well. Had the lead for a little while there, but he's not quite sure how to move around the stage though. Yeah, there's not really much uh, platform tricks you can do here. The platforms hang over the edge, usually used for uh, to better suit the edge guarder or the person recovering. Sometimes like can get onto it if they recover high, but Marth definitely not one of those characters who opts to go high a lot. Really nice spot dodge there to grab and then swag. Train wisely dying away, trying to go for that DI mix-up, but misses the forward smash in both directions. 118, 122%. It's kind of tough to get a follow-up with Marth out of, a, out of his throws. The up tilt. I can cap you way up there. Starting to get to that percent where it's hard for Marth to find Ooh, his kills. Crosses it up. Oof, wow. The dimension cave. But he still has his jump. Something a lot of inexperienced people do is they'll use their jump right before the dimension cave comes up. That's exactly what he wants you to do. Ooh, nice. Still gets that uh, reverse grab box. I don't know if that uh, reverse grab existed in melee. I don't think it did. I think Marth had to be facing the stage there, but these are brawl edge mechanics, so we got that edge snapping. Not nearly to the brawl extent, but yeah, a little bit better enough. than melee. A nice back throw sending. Ooh. Sizzle right off. That's the thing about Meta Knight. He can just wait out there for you. Yep. 
Sizzle in a really, really tough place now. Really needs to get this stack off. 153%, very hard for Marth. He's got to get like a raw forward smash. Maybe there's like even up tilt time. The up B. Okay. Definitely, definitely going to do it. We got jabs as Sizzle does not respect them at all. Gets the He's grab definitely taking some risks right now. That one does not He's, pay off. He's got to, yeah. See, Ooh, every, that might be it. Every time. The Ooh, Ooh. Or, okay, and suddenly this is And this is three anyone's stocks game. right now. That, like three stock Project M, one suicide. Really, really is a lot, a lot of damage to yourself. Looks like he is not phased by it at all. Comes out, has not taken a single percent. It sizzle ops to air dodge high onto the platform there using Skywalk 2's advantage. Got three spot dodges to wow. a grab to forward smash. 16% there for sizzle. That Getting took on a lot of boards. Bolt. Yeah. Finally putting up some damage here on that oh, one. No. That might be it. Uh, tough, tough. Maybe. He grabs the edge. Yep. No. I think he might have gotten it if he's disappointing. edge grab wasn't there, but it was. I was rooting for Sizzle by the end there. Yeah, anytime I see somebody I don't know here in the Chicago